Now that you made it into part 2, I'm gonna be showing you how to do worm lighting and color correction. So let's go. Now before I even start, there's gonna be timestamps for like each GFX you did before like I'm gonna start from like the people who already did the sky and blender. So if you didn't do the sky and blender and you wanna do it in Photoshop, there's gonna be a timestamp in the video where I actually show it. So jump into that part and I'm gonna explain like your part. First part is gonna be, you know, this already made sky. So yeah, let's go. So what I'm gonna do is first start off with the worm lighting. How I do my worm lighting is I create a new layer, I click P for brush, uh pen, my bad, and make sure this is set, make sure this is set to path and not shape. Now I just go over an area I want to do the worm light like this. Go ahead and fix this and just continue this. So I'll speed this part up a bit. Now that you have it like this, what you want to do is make a sort of box shape like this. Then click make selection. Click OK. Now that you have this like shape thingy, you're going to see this like icon. You want to click it. And next thing you want to do is click Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And this is where the worm lighting actually comes. So what you want to do now is bring up the bus size a bit. And pick a color. I'm going to do for this purple. So let's go ahead and grab purple. Let me see, just like this. And all you need to do now is just brush. Just like this. Yeah, let me do this again. Just like that. Then you want to set it to color dodge add. And if you see like sharp edges, you can actually click this white and black like spot and make sure your brush is wait. Okay. And make sure your brush is set to white, the color white. And you can just click a part where it's like sharp here just tap it one tap over here and hold shift and click over here and it will actually feel that like part that feels a little bit how can i explain sharp you can do this to other parts that feel sharp here like this for example just like that and just like that you have your simple rim lighting and for that second layer you can add like an additional worm light, but like a bigger one. So I'll show you what I mean. Grab a bigger brush. Make this a bit lighter. Doesn't matter the color. And just bring it up some more. Not bring it up, but have it come up some more. Now you can actually use the soft brush by clicking E for hockey. And you can delete like sharp edges at the start like this. And just like that, you have your simple worm lighting. And if the size is a bit large, like this, you can actually just lower the opacity. And we'll give this like smaller feel to it, but still keep it. And this is how you do worm lighting. I'm gonna do this to the rest of the avatar on places I think it should actually apply to. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Now that you finish doing your worm lighting, if you don't like this technique of like doing worm lighting, as I show here, here it is, here's the before and here's the after. I'm gonna have a dedicated video on like, like five ways you can actually do worm lighting. And I'm actually gonna be asking people for like their way and basically there's gonna be other methods. So if you don't wanna do this method, you can go ahead and do yours. So next thing I'm gonna do is do a color correction so I'm going to name this group CC now for the people who use Photopea here's a quick video uh, <laughs> here's a quick quick on actually how to add um, adjustments 
go ahead and click this test that and yeah you get it so first thing i always add it is vibrance and what i like to do is bring up the vibrance just like this and as you can see you're already starting to get this like cartoony like happy feeling i guess another thing i add is color balance and just play around with this for now do it blue next with like pinkish sort of and should i add this blue yeah and i lower the opacity a bit last thing i add is curve now just make it bite a bit not that much let's see i'm going to lower the opacity for this also bring it up a bit and as you can see here's the before and after i sort of remove this like blend feeling from the jfx itself what else can you actually add i think this is everything i add for my personal jfx when it comes to like these type so this was the color correction web lighting as you can see i'm gonna zoom in a bit it's kind of trash but zoom that it gets the job done i guess let's put up that player and here's for this player kind of shitty but i'm gonna have a better video on how to like do an actual good one so yeah so now that i actually finished this one i'm we're gonna go to the next part so yeah let's go now for the next method it's gonna be adding a sky room lighting and color correction the only thing different from the other like other episode not episode but method is you're gonna be adding a sky but room lighting and all of that is gonna be the same but i'm still gonna try it again so what you want to do is go to google and type in sky with texture uh no sky with clouds and just look for good decent looking sky i'm just gonna go ahead and look for one that doesn't have a watermark yeah i'm going to go ahead and use this so what you want to do now is just drag it into photoshop for the pair whatever you have and i'll see you guys there now that you have it in photoshop as you can see it's pretty small but i'm just gonna bring this up and you can obviously use another sky tech uh, nope <laughs> sky image but i'm gonna use this one and maybe like this let's find a good looking one looking for a good position for this yeah this one so now what you want to do is combine these together merge and actually no what you want to do is create a group for this layer add a vibrance layer and bring up the saturation oh vibrance both just like that and now merge these both together and merge this one with it now what we're gonna do is first i'm gonna start this one with yeah room lighting why not so the way i do room lighting is i go ahead and click p for pen make sure this is set to path and not shape i add a new layer and well, let me zoom what hold up a bit okay I don't know layer and I just mark the place I want to do the room light so just like that I'm gonna do this in a lazy way okay yeah just like this I'm gonna just keep it lazy and what you want to do now is create this sort of box not too big just for the leg itself click make selection okay and if you go down here you're going to see this like circle in the middle in this box you want to click it 
now click on this transparent um, layer bring up the boss size and make sure it's set to soft and pick your color I'm gonna pick purple for this first we're gonna start with light and oh also make sure you duplicate it and I'm just gonna color in just like that there we go and I'll make it linear dodge add yeah I'm good in order to make this one soft I'm gonna grab the eraser and delete sharp spots with the soft brush just like this now the second layer can be used to actually sort of extrude it so just make this one a little a little bigger just like that now I'll actually make this one lighter Now put this one below that layer and I'll just slow a bit the opacity and just like that if you want to see how I did the rim lighting in the other one you can go ahead and see I guess now if you actually see this one this is kind of sharp so what you want to do is click the black and white spot go ahead and click the brush and make sure it's set to white click the end of the spot that it's sharp and click the end spot while holding shift and clicking and make sure you're doing this to the second layer just like this and can even color in a bit if I'm doing the shift thingy and this is if you didn't take your time in this it's gonna look like this so make sure you take a little time with this and just like that you have your whim light on how I do it I guess and now it's the same thing for like the other players I'm not gonna do it to the arm because you sort of understand how to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and come back once I I guess I'll speed this one up Now that you finished doing your rim lighting, here's what it looked like before, and this is the after. I'm gonna do actually another tutorial on how to do rim lighting in different ways, so keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna do the color correction for this. So I'm gonna add a new layer, Control G to actually make it into a group. Go to adjustments and click vibrance, and just bring the vibrance up and the saturation. Just like that. A little opacity a bit, just a bit. Next thing I'm gonna add is a color balance. Make it bluish, but not too much. Make it pink a little bit. And bring up the blue here. Already starting to see a difference. I'm gonna add a curve and make it bright, but not a lot just like this yep another thing i will add is a new layer brush and pick the color blue and just sort of brush over the sky to sort of add this like much more bluish color i guess because it looks kind of bland and i'll set it to yeah overlay why not and yeah this is it for this tutorial so here's the before the CC and after. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. For the next video, it's gonna be worm lighting or how to make a Twitter header, however you say it, I guess. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.